So see, that's where the shelter ended before I pulled it. So I pulled it about five inches further than I needed to, but that's perfect. Take the dolly out. I like to push down on it a little bit to make sure it gets down the grass good so there's not any gaps underneath. that poly face, the way most people do things, is they have to lift the lid and take every single feeder out and walk off 12 feet. But since I already walked off 12 feet for that one, I can just pull this shelter to within two feet of that one and it'll be in the right spot. So I just made a, a little piece of wire here. It's got a hook on the end. I don't know if you can see the hook. There we go. Just got a hook on the end and that grabs that feeder. So the feeder just comes along. And that saves me a few seconds on every shelter. So I can just grab this one and pull it. the right distance right there and then I just got to check to make sure my this line isn't over here like this so a lot of times when I walk past I'll just catch it with my toe pull it tight and that's good you see this one this one was perfect. I, I only over pulled it like five inches, exactly the same as I've done the first one. So if I can keep my whole row just like this, I never have to take the rest of the feeders out. I just have to take one feeder out every day. All right, let's go ahead and pull this one. It's real easy to estimate three feet. It's really hard to estimate like 10 feet. So if you have a set distance set and you want, I mean, sometimes I like to keep them like this or sometimes like that. It's super easy to tell. You'll be within a couple inches every time. All right, so I just keep going down the line all the way in and when I got done, then I gotta feed them. And usually, we would just carry buckets. But I made a wheelbarrow so I didn't have to carry the buckets all the time. It's so much faster. This, this is a special custom wheelbarrow. The top is a half a 55 gallon barrel. And then I made the frame out of steel uh, water pipe that was old and rusty and the real the real plus about this wheelbarrow is that it doesn't have the bar that comes out in front so you're and that bar is so that when you go to dump the wheelbarrow it catches in the ground so it doesn't roll away on you while you're dumping it but I never have to dump this wheelbarrow so without this bar I can run over giant clumps of grass no problem I you can almost drive it upstairs and all well the construction there's no wobble this wheelbarrow is super solid so i'll use a bucket so 
fill this wheelbarrow up. Now those weren't all full bucketfuls, but I mean that took a lot of bucketfuls. I think if you're carrying two buckets, you can usually feed three shelters, and I can feed nine with this. So that's like six, six full bucketfuls, and it's so much easier. So I'll come around. I'll just pull up here real close. Pop this lid up. Two and a half scoops. Next shelter. Like that all the way down the line. Oh, let me think. Am I missing anything that we've made changes to? I think that's about it. Um, yeah. So the polyface benchmark is three minutes per shelter. So if you had ten shelters, you should be able to do all your chores, feed, water, move, and thirty minutes. So I have 11 shelters here, and the other Sunday morning I did it in 21 minutes, and that was Sunday. I was try to go a little slower on Sunday. <laughs> um, so it's I mean it's super easy. I can I can beat benchmark pretty much any day I want, and three minutes of shelter benchmark is is pretty hard to do with feed buckets and water buckets. You have to have pretty short grass and the birds have to be the right age if they're too big they don't move good if they're too small they don't move good um, it's it's definitely not achievable every day but I can I can beat three minute benchmark every single day with this system so I think that's about it don't forget to check out uh, my leather working website farmtoughleather.com I have one of my holsters right here this holster I've been wearing it for like three years and it's been doing just fine. They they have a magnet in here that keeps your Leatherman in. And they truly are the world's best holsters. So you can check them out at uh, farmtoughleather.com. All right. That's all for today.